guys, I am Lena Amdrin with Arkansas Amdrin. Thank you so much for watching. Today, I am in Little Rock, Arkansas with... Hi, I'm Classy Earhart. I'm a life transformation coach and personal brand strategist. Do you hear that? That sounds so amazing and serious <laughs> and it sounds like you have a lot of people. Yes, I definitely try and hope to impact the lives of anybody I come into contact with. That's amazing. Well, you impact in my life, this would be here. You're such a good listener. <laughs> Thank you. We actually met at uh, uh, one of my events, and a little secret, but fingers crossed, you're going to be one of my speakers, you know. Yes. So I'm excited. Um, well, tell us more about uh, what you do and how you can help us. So, um, with my life transformation coaching and personal brand strategy, um, I have my master's in clinical mental health counseling. Yes. So, what I do is I help people overcome things that are limiting them, whether it's a poverty mindset, mental blocks, um, these issues around money, these limiting beliefs and these stories that we tell ourselves. Mm -hmm. One of the things that people don't realize is a large chunk of our lives that we are leading is subconscious. We're making decisions based on stories and narratives that we developed in early childhood. Yeah. So I help people uncover those and overcome them so that they can start to walk powerfully in their purpose that is their divine co-creation. That's beautiful. And tell me more about the business strategy. Yeah. So with personal brand strategy, it really goes hand in hand. Mm -hmm. And that is simply because we have to know our person. Mm -hmm. I teach personal brand strategy, not in the traditional sense, but in the sense that we develop it in three ways. Personal development, mm -hmm. which is a personal understanding of myself, uncovering those limiting beliefs and those hidden stories. And then personal branding, creating an actual brand experience for my audience, connecting with them in a personal way, developing them. meaningful relationships with them. Here's the thing. In business nowadays, Maria, people want to know you. They want to mm -hmm. like you, know you, and trust you. Mm -hmm. They want to feel like they can go out and have coffee with you. Or if you're like me, you can go have a mimosa with me. We can have a cocktail. What? And they want to feel like that you are their best friend, a trusted friend. And when we develop a personal brand that speaks to that need, that opens up meaningful conversations, that develops a community around the business, it changes the game. That is where up-leveling comes in. But you can't do that if you don't have a personal relationship with yourself, if you don't do the personal development work. It's really, really hard to develop relationships with other people if you don't know yourself. Ooh, that sounds so good. And then the third way that I teach it okay. is your brand. Mm -hmm. So if we all know that our brand is the combination of the beliefs, the perceptions, the memories, the stories, the connections, the feelings that people have about our business. When you think about Apple products, you already know what you're going to get. You already have this idea in your mind. When you think about Coca-Cola, when you think about anything like that, big brands, they don't have to brand themselves anymore because the user has done that already. Mm -hmm. They've developed the beliefs, the perceptions. And so I help people understand how to map out their customer experience and really be intentional about creating the brand experience for their audience and anybody that touches their business, whether it's social media or they walk in and they become a paying client. You have to have an experience that you walk people through so that they can believe you, trust you, feel connected to you, have memories, have those stories and those perceptions about your brand, your product, and your service. Whatever you do in your <laughs> own brand, I can tell it works. Because I am you. connected to you, I trust you, so somehow, whatever you did up to this interview, that's exactly what you're preaching, basically what you're doing. So basically, I can tell that you're doing what you preach. Well, thank you. Because everything what you just described, I feel. So I don't know. There's some. Well, magic. that's so good. I love that. Thank you. I, I don't know. There's some magic over there. What you? Because well, there's a lot of knowledge and experience and research. But to me, it sounds like magic. Whatever you did, that's exactly what you are. Well, your friend. Thank you, girl. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh, it's okay. okay. <laughs> we doing a Facebook. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Now, as we're in a positive note, yes. what? would you say to us right now is spring you guys a lot of people have new beginnings getting out new things new connections i think spring is a good time to um rebuild a lot of probably personal connections because you actually can get out and you know yeah so like what would you say to us in spring some words of encouragement for entrepreneurs or just people people and entrepreneurs whoever is on your mind 
you know, no, one of the things, I'm just going to go back to what you said about my business. My business is the way that it is because of networking, mm -hmm. because of people, because of developing those personal relationships and those connections. And so do that, right? Like the authentic parts of ourselves, we are wired for connection. When we deny any part of ourselves, we deny the whole piece. Mm. So anytime we try to say, no, I don't want to be around people. I don't want to hang out. I don't want to do this. But in reality, you really do inside of you. You're telling, you're lying to yourself. Mm. We're wired for connection. You guys hear, I'm sure you're hearing that the, the good old ambulance flying by, doing what they do best. They're working out there too. But go out and build connections, develop relationships. And I don't just mean superficial relationships. I don't mean talking about, oh, you like Starbucks. Oh, you like this. Go and develop meaningful connections with people that are going to help you tap into the places, into the shadow parts of your body, of your soul that you're not allowing to shine. That you're not allowing yourself to be. Go and meet people that are going to uplift you into your purpose. We don't get anywhere in life alone. I don't care if you're a mom, a father, a teacher, a professional working in an office setting, an entrepreneur, whatever the case it is that you are, we don't get anywhere alone. And that doesn't just mean we have to be secluded to our family. I've met amazing people outside of my family circle that have poured into me and I've done the same back in the natural flow of reciprocity. So go out and meet people. The best marketing strategy, whatever it is that you're doing, whether you're a professional or like a professional in the business world in corporate America, or if you're just an entrepreneur, meeting people, sometimes it's not what you know, but who you know. And because I've known some amazing people, I've had awesome doors open to me. I've had opportunities extended to me. And also, I, I, I kind of do know what I'm talking about. So I, that is also necessary. But because of having meaningful relationships where I've deep dove into being authentic and vulnerable and genuine and creating those types of spaces, it has literally catapulted my business within the last, I'd say even three years. So. That's amazing. So from your professional experience, sorry, some people are watching. So to make a connection, how many times would you say you got to meet with the person? Definitely not one time. Uh, before you believe that like, okay, this is a time where connection has been created. Like three times with the same person, five times with the same person. You got to always call them, text them. Remind. Like how do you create a connection besides the meeting? Yeah, we all going to, after this video, we all going to meet with somebody. For yes. sure. One time. And then what do we do next after that one time? Because it's like it takes time to create a relationship. It takes time. Because <laughs> you got to email, you got to call, you got to text, you got to tell them that you care. I'm going, you know what, Marina? I'm going to share this. Okay. I have, in, in, in the span of two months, so last year, I had so many people that, that were wanting to meet with me, so I would have all these coffees. Mm -hmm. There was almost not one single woman that did not cry in that, in that meeting. <sighs> Just from me, this was one, okay? So I'm I'm not going to say that there is not a process okay. to where, you know, you have to touch, you know, they say you have to touch somebody a certain amount of times before maybe you convert them to a client or you develop that relationship. But here's what I know is when the more we are aligned within ourselves, within our being, within who we are at every level of, of who we are, and there's always more levels to uncover, I'm constantly peeling back new layers of myself and beliefs or thoughts that I've had. But the more authentic and truly genuine we can show up in spaces, it really doesn't take that long to deep dive. That's the spiritual connection in humanity. So you believe if it's genuine, the connection can happen, frankly, instantly? We really shut the mind. Connected. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, and, and you can ask anybody that has ever met, that has met with me, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to say, at least in the last year or two, because I've done some growing as well, that in their first meeting with me, the number one thing that they can say is, oh my gosh, you're so real, you're so genuine, you're so authentic, I feel like I know you. I want, like, we are already friends. That's what you want. It, I don't have to touch you five times to impact your life and to let you know that I am real, mm -hmm. I am raw, I'm a hot mess. I love you. I, I am one with God. I am one with you. 
we are together. It, it's not, I don't have to, because I refuse to hide behind the insecurities that creep up in my mind. Mm -hmm. I refuse to hide behind the fear. Mm -hmm. If you don't like me, that's fine. But every day I want to be able to wake up and say, I can stand resolute in the truth of who I am. And I'm going to show up for you in that way. And that is how you deep dive in relationships. A lot of the reasons that we, we create these stories, these narratives that it has to take five, 10, 15 touches mm -hmm. is because oftentimes we're navigating these relationships by fear. We're starting off in a place of fear and a place of distrust and a place of worry and a place and not in a place of, you know what? I'm going to trust you until you give me a reason not to. I'm going to show up and I'm going to trust you. In my in my um, experience that I have, I have, I literally let my clients tell me what they were going to pay me when. And they were like, but why? I trust you. I trust that you want to work with me in good faith. So I want people to, I want people to have good faith in me. So I'm going to navigate my life in good faith. So when I have relationships, when I meet with people, I will share my story. You ask me a question. Yeah, come on, I'll roll up my sleeves. I'm going to get dirty with you. I'm going to talk about it. Because in good faith, I'm trusting you until you give me a reason not to. Have you and had, had uh, like a lot of times where it, it's very brave to have this approach, let me tell you, especially in the corporate world where it, it's always, what can you do for me type of thing? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, have you ever been like hurt? Like, do you, I mean, if you get personal, yes. you involve emotions. You do. And uh, you can get hurt. And so I've been actually learning, and I don't know, we can all talk about it, but I've been yeah. actually learning the opposite trying to get my emotions out like today we have an agenda in a meeting because I, I i know myself like i can't have emotions in a meeting because i'll get too emotional and then get too attached and then if something happens i'll be hurting and it would happen to me over and over so like in your case how do you get all these emotions out bury your soul and then have you ever been hurt yes and how do you deal with that you just go on to the next one no i cry <laughs> I cry, you know, I, I call my closest confidants and, and I, I talk about it. Okay, I process it. It hurts. I have let people into my sphere of influence, my circle, mm. that have done some really hurtful things, that have told lies about me behind my back, that have actually plotted different things that have in turn could have been like a, a demise. You know, and, and people around me, they've been like, oh my God, I can't believe that person did this, right? But here's the thing. I want to be able to stand so resolute in the truth of who I am mm -hmm. that I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. I have decided, I made a decision that I am okay with, you think about Martin Luther King, right? Martin Luther King is amazing, yet somebody still assassinated him, yet people still hated him. Right now, I'm not saying I'm Martin Luther King, but what I'm saying is even in goodness, there will still be people that choose based on whatever limiting beliefs or narratives or perceptions or whatever or fear or trauma that they went through, whatever their reason that they still will choose that even in someone's goodness, they only want to see the dark. They only want to bring that to light. Mm. Oh, that's so powerful. So I, I refuse to allow the darkness to make me bitter. It hurts. Heck yeah. Mm. I cry. Mm. I've, I've, one of my good friends, he'll tell me, he'll be like, chin up, buttercup. <laughs> He's like, yeah, people, it's a dog eat dog world. I've been, I've been naive. Heck, I'm still naive. Mm. I don't know. I don't, I don't know anything. I don't know anything. But you know kindness. That's it. And you know how to show it. And your positive attitude. I just listened actually uh, earlier today, I listened to Kate Hypes on uh, being on the Weight Watchers tour. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was saying that I'm optimist at the, uh, at, almost at fault and I haven't finished watching that video yet. But that's what she was saying. So in your case, I see that you're very kind. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then you optimist. And no just, other just the best way to be just love people <laughs> and, and feel it like you have this positive vibes energy and we're not you powerhouse you guys make you. you you are powerhouse <laughs> and uh, when i met you at the event i was like i couldn't stop talking like i wanted to talk to you talking talking to you i apologize i was i just couldn't stop talking 
and so you're very good listener and I can tell you in your purpose and I will have to watch this video back over just to hear what you just said because I'm like oh oh like I have to like process this again <laughs> very, very smart I hope you guys can tell that uh, classy uh, she actually knows what she's talking about <laughs> just right the way you described about connections and what we should do now uh, did I already ask you what should uh, what would you say to a new business owner what would you say to a new business owner? No, to a new business owner, I would say, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go right back okay. to my same point. Meet people. Meet people. And number one, just do not be afraid to ask for help. No, here's the thing. We start to believe, right, so the negative thought cycle starts to come in. And we start to believe that no one, no one's here for me. No one supports me. No one's encouraging me. This is really hard. No one. Take a deep breath. Because here's the thing. We are all busy. We are all busy. I don't always know when someone needs help. I don't. And your friend doesn't always know when you need help. They're busy. They're a mom. They're a dad. They're a, they work in an office. They have extracurriculars. They have meetings. They're networking. They're run, you know, sometimes we don't know. Maybe you've gotten used to them catching certain things and then them showing up and you and you've gotten kind of used to that. But then they hit a patch in their life where they're not able to be as observant, as present. Ask for help. We don't get anywhere alone. And in business, business is collaboration. One of the number one things that I have learned about business is collaboration. Period. And that collaboration does not happen until you ask for help. Yeah. Until you say, hey, I'm trying to build my business. I'm trying to create partnerships. I need would you be interested in talking with me and hanging out and figuring out how we can maybe collaborate? We were just talking about this before we even started this live. Asking for help. No one gets here alone. I sure as heck didn't. And I will never say that I did. Now, do I do all the work and I get gritty and I go and I work hard day in, day out? Heck yeah, I do. And then I have amazing people that I collaborate with, that I ask for help. On recommendation posts, your girl is sliding in my friend's DMs and I'm like, hey, someone is looking for a life transformation coach. Someone's looking for a brand strategist. Someone's looking for a photographer. Here's a screenshot. Can you go and recommend me? Mm. Guess what? Facebook, when you make a post, maybe only about 10 to 15% of your audience sees it. So you have to keep posting regularly. That's why consistency is a key. So just because I post and say, hey, can somebody go recommend me on this post on social media? All my friends didn't see it. Mm. So you got to keep, keep doing it. Text them, hey, somebody's looking for such and such. Can you go recommend me? Ask people for help. If people don't know what you're going through and what so you, you say, need, if somebody's looking for some, yeah, look, recommend. Oh, yeah, idea. yeah. I will text to this day. I text my friends and I will say, I just saw this rec. And women influencers, a recommendation post pops up. Hey, I'm te I'm texting one of my friends, or two, three, four, five, ten. Hey. Did you see this post? Half of them are like, girl, no, I haven't seen that yet. Well, can you go and recommend me on that really quick? They go. They go and they recommend. Ah, so you mean if somebody asking for, I, I guess I'm, I'm so green. So I guess, what is the recommendation post? Oh, okay. So, so let's say, so what you're doing, Marina, you're, you're doing your life, your life coaching, right? So if I'm on social media and I post, I'm looking for a life coach, any oh, recommendation. Okay. This no, that's it. That makes right? Sense. Like that is a small number one. That's a small gesture for asking for help. I did a I did a poll, and about seventy five percent of people said that they are uncomfortable asking for help, while only forty percent said that they were. Mm -hmm. Seventy six percent of people said that they were uncomfortable asking for help. Yeah. So this is a very small way. Like if you're a new business, if you're a new entrepreneur, this is a very small way to ask for help. Because there are definitely bigger ways that you can ask for help. But somebody's going on social, for, we're on social media all day. So somebody going on social media on this recommendation post and just posting your name is such a small 
way for you to open the door for you to start to feel more comfortable with asking for help because here's what it's going to do it's going to build that confidence when you see those people show up for you and recommend you on that post so did you get business out of recommendation oh yeah i get business off recommendation posts yes i do i, I do oh, and yay. i have and i have a very specific strategy that i use for how i respond in the recommendation post so i have like how I do my body and how I make sure I integrate what the what that person said into I have a very specific way of how I respond and comment on the post once people have recommended me and then I'll go in and I'll comment so I have a very specific body and framework that I use to respond to those posts and, and I have a pretty good uh, turnaround rate with them. So you guys, if you have to figure <laughs> that out, then you can hire a classy to be your brand strategist. That's beautiful. So how can people find you? You can find me on social media. I think I'm tagged in this post. Just follow me at Classy Earhart. Uh, my website is classyearhart.com. I'm on Instagram, Classy Earhart. Oh, Facebook, I've already said that. I don't have a Twitter or a TikTok yet. I'm considering it because those TikTok videos are looking pretty fun. But I do have a podcast. It's called Speak Life Conversations with Classy. And we take a deep dive into business, mindset, and lifestyle. So everything that I'm talking about here... I, we, I deep dive with guests um, from across the world. I have international guests. I, I interviewed a woman from Hungary. I have local guests here in Little Rock, and I have guests that are in New York and Florida. And we just really talk about impacting people and speaking life into people's fears, their traumas, their pain, and, and even into their triumphs and their joys and really helping them find this path to purpose and shine a light in the darkest places. You're amazing, yeah. and I want you to know that you today you shine the light in the darkest place. Oh, thank I am you. A, you are awesome. What I'm you're a, doing is a amazing. business owner who is trying to build a dream, and I'm a new to this entrepreneurship world. And today, I just want you to know you shine some light. At least, like you told me what the recommendation post is, so you know, <laughs> <laughs> you shine some light today in my world. And I thank you so much for time. You're amazing. Thank you, girl. What you're doing is amazing. Yeah. That, you know, what I was sharing with you about, I'm very intentional. I'm very intentional. And that's why I wanted us to get together. I wanted us to hang out. I want, what you're doing is amazing, and it's so needed. You are shedding a light in dark places. Going out and interviewing these business owners and where you come from doing that. You have done that, girl. Out of a place of, I will not accept defeat. I refuse it. I yep. refuse to allow that to be a part of my story. And you got out there and you created, we talked about this, creating our own platforms. And you've done that. That's amazing. That is empowering. And you are inspiring. Thank you. You're welcome. I wish you best of luck as you grow in Arkansas and worldwide. Yes. And uh, I wish that good people are going to come your way. And you're going to build your network of amazing women and men. And I pray that in some way you're going to be making a difference just as great or more than dr king Ooh, i guess <laughs> have, have that as your compliment because he came from the good heart yeah and you come from the good heart and i know you're gonna make a difference and i know we just had black like, history months and march is a women's march um, uh, month and yeah. uh you can use your platform to make a difference and you're doing it already, so thank you. Thank you. Can I have it? Yes! <laughs> Alright. Bye guys. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with us.